Talk Radio. The Late Night Alternative with Ian Lee on Talk Radio. We have ways of making you talk. Across the UK, online and on DAB. Talk Radio. 0344 499 1000 is the telephone number if you want to give us a call. You're very welcome. Um, the way it works, me and Kath sit here and we talk a lot about rubbish. We talk about our weekend and our lives and all of that. Uh, and you're welcome to call in about any of the things that we're talking about. Or if you just want to phone up for a natter. Or if you have something else that you want to address. And we can do heavy, we can do light, we can do frothy, we can do, we can do all of that kind of stuff. I would kind of ask if you're going to phone in about something political that's heavy, try and have something new that's been missing from the debate so far. Wouldn't you agree, Catherine? Absolutely. I think that's the way forward. Um, you'll speak to Oliver, he will take your name and number and he'll give you a call straight back and it's, it's, uh, it's that simple. That's how it works. That's how this show works. I tell you what we're going to do. We're going to take a quick break and we're going to play a little advert for one of our colleagues. And then when we get back, I'm going to call up Professor Joe Lavens and we are going to talk um, about this movie that is out about a guy who lost his virginity to an alien. If you want to talk to the professor, if you want to share your thoughts on UFOs or any encounters that you may have had, now is a great time to give us a call. 0344 499 1000. This is Talk Radio. Across the UK, online and on DAB. The Late Night Alternative with Ian Lee. On air and off the leash. On Talk Radio. What do these beings choose me? There is an orange yellowish light comes on. David is looking at the light and doesn't hurt his eyes. He is aware of the beings. They are standing over him. They are touching his body. My name is David Huggins. I'm 72 years old and I live in Hoboken, New Jersey. I was living a perfectly normal life until I started remembering things. It was just like image upon image upon image. It wouldn't stop. I was so scared. The eyes were just glowing. They hit the ground running straight toward me. And we floated up to some type of craft. I said, you hurt me, you hurt me. No, 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 no. This is the woman I never told anyone about. When I was 17, I lost my virginity to a female extraterrestrial. That's all I can say about it. What's the trailer? Virginity lost. What's the trailer for the movie Love and Sources a documentary? Um, and it really is incredible. I haven't seen the whole film itself. I've literally just seen the trailer. But I, I, if it's anything, if that one minute's 32 is anything to go by, then it, it's going to be astounding. Um, really pleased to welcome uh, uh, back on the show Professor Joe Lavens. Um, Joe, I've got this right. I'm born in Wisconsin, spent some time in New, New York City. Um, that is and correct. Now you're in uh, Leicester. Demont for, that is correct. I'm at the Montford University. I'm lecturing in astrology and... Uh, specializing in astrophysics. And you've started your own group, the PUFOG. What's PUFOG? PUFOG, a pure UFO group, uh, PUFOG. Okay. And you may remember I was on your show, some of your lists, remember Ufologistics, uh, Denied to Deceive, Two Legacy of Arrogance. Uh, it was my book that I was uh, promoting, okay. discussing. This, it's like at the time. This, this documentary, Love and Sources, yes, uh, sir. have you seen the film? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Uh, the coitus happened in 1961 when Hoggins was a teenager. Um, it is, it's a fascinating story, and it's one that I have heard of many, many times. And it's so extraordinary, uh, because not because the, the subject matter, I've, as I say, I've heard of it a lot, many times, but it triggered in me thoughts of what happened in, in my past okay. in 2004. Ah, okay. I, well, I didn't know this. I thought we were talking about uh, the movie. Are you saying, and the movie is about uh, David Huggins, who 
um, had his virginity. He's an older man now. He looks like he's in his 70s. He's had his virginity That's taken when he was yeah. 17 by, well, he paints. And he's painted a, a very busty, um, clean-shaven, sexy alien lady. Um, who, I, if for some reason, if you watch the trailer, for some reason, she's lifting her own breasts up. I don't quite know why that is. Well, as if to offer them. Offer them to us, yes. But you're, I, this is, well, this has taken a turn already, Professor. You're saying this happened to you. I'm not saying that my experience was exactly like Huggins, but all I know is that in 2004, I, believe, I sent you a diagram of, of uh -huh. what happened to me. I was in an area that's in the eastern plains of Colorado. Uh, I was, uh, I'm a painter myself. I was out living near Burlington, if any of your listeners, that's not far from Denver. Okay. I was out in mountainous region. I was painting, uh, I'm an artist as well as a scientist, both right and left side of my brain, if you like, or <laughs> I'm lucky that I, I do have those, two, those skills. And I was, <sighs> I was visited by, call it what you like, extraterrestrial aliens, an empress uh, who I called Barbinkim 23. Sorry, what was what was her name, sorry? Barbinkim 23. Barbinkim uh, 23, and she was an empress. She was an empress of a kingdom. I don't know the name. I was not party to the name. I was not given the name. And I done it with her on two occasions. I did the 13th of May. You did one, sorry? I done it with her on two occasions, 13th of May 2004, and exactly one year later, 13th of May 2005. Okay, well, let's, let's can, if we can take this chronology, I've, I've just tweeted the diagrams and the photos that you sent me. All right. Um, so I'm looking at 13th of May 2004, 6.21 in the evening. That is correct. That's when Coitus took place. Yeah. Barbinkium uh, 23. All right. Um, well, can you describe her? She looks She looks like a dog, and I don't mean that in a rude rude way. She so all... looks like a... She looks like a dog. A, a dog. She's on all fours. Uh, and on, yeah, her, I, on her back, um, she has tits on her back. She's got tits on her back, yeah. But, but come on, no one's perfect. No, and she's got... So you're, you're, and I've had to pixelate the picture because it's, it's, it's a little bit uh, uh, vulgar for some people. Okay, right, okay. I was, I was just attempting to do a diagram. Of oh, no, 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 no. The coitus can take place, and yeah, you made it clearly led quite a sheltered life. Well, no, I've had sex. I've got, I've got kids. I've, I've okay. had sex, well, but I'm never with, a, with an empress from another planet. If I may, if I, if I may. Sorry, talk. I do apologize. She, she is, okay, she's in a position that you can receive. Uh, I don't want to be too graphic for your listeners, but that's the same position that human beings can do as well. as And Barbing Kim, that was a position that you liked. Uh, and, and it says... Well, I'm not seeing that caption. She has a, a thing, a long thing. It looks well, about... I thought eight. it was a ponytail, like... Well, uh, it does look long. The female human Ariana Grande, but apparently that's... Um, it's a it's tentacle exotic. going up your, bar, up your anus, etc. I went up my bum, etc. Yeah, and and it, that comes it, from the top of her head. It's about eight feet long. What, right. was, that, what was that tentacle made of? And, and what did, how did it affect well, the I sex? Well, you'll see from... You'll see from the diagram. Yes. Looking I, at the what diagram, what it was made now. of, I was not. What did it feel was, like to you? Did it feel leathery? Did it feel scaly? Scaly, slimy. Hard? Did it? I mean, did it? I gotta tell you, I gotta tell you, it was pleasurable. I gotta tell you, it was pleasurable. It, it, and it was maybe possibly secreting something from the end of her tentacle as it went up my bum. But okay. Now, how did this you know, situation it, occur? Did, were you in? Did she chat you up in a bar? I'm being slightly well, flippant. This but, is, no, this is a problem. I mean, uh, it's a very interesting question because, you know, I, I, when I first met her, when I was out there uh, painting, the sexual congress itself is extraordinary. Uh, a, a tiny bit of foreplay, maybe touching, a, a tits on her back. and that. But what I, I would pay her a compliment. Uh, you have a beautiful smile, or Binky, I'm 23. Would you like these flowers? Of course, uh, flowers in her culture mean a little more than vegetation. She, she'd sniff them and she went pee pee on them, but that's fine. Yeah. All the conventional things that people do when they're courting on planet Earth is not necessarily. Uh, she, she had one word, uh, one word that she said to me throughout Conchili. Conchili, she'd say, and sometimes. What does conchi what is oh, well, mean? Uh, it's very difficult to say. Uh, sometimes she was angry yep. when the foreplay did not please her. Conchili, angry. And sometimes softly when she was tender. Conchili. 
Conkeely. And that uh, was only one of three words that I understood at that time. Okay. Uh, Conkeely, Dulay Sudan, which Dulay to me always sounded like Dudley Sutton, who was in Lovejoy. I've, I've, I've worked with Dudley Sutton. Okay, but that was, was not... I'm not saying she was, Yeah, okay, but I'm not... I'm not saying she's a great actor, Dudley Sutton. Right. He, and, and Dudley Sutton. Um, okay, I'm not saying, but I'm not saying it, no. she was saying Dudley Sutton from Lovejoy. I'm just saying that the last, it sounded like Dudley Sutton. What's I'm this? Saying. Can I ask? What's this, the second picture? It looks like a, an elephant with with a wig on. What's what's that a picture of? What I discovered was my manhood uh, when I was small in that at the end when uh, after Congress had taken place. Tiny little tip on the end. Oh, that's um, your penis! That, I thought that was an. I that thought that was an elephant. I've tweeted these pictures. If people no, 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 them. no. That uh, was my willy. But the thing was, what I what happened was at the end of it, it got very small at the end, very small. But that I don't know what relevance that is. And it I, says there's what's that dripping out of the end? And please, you know, be careful. Stuff coming out the end, you know. But it was radioactive. Um, wow. Yeah. How do you know it was but, radioactive? I, it looked it looked like it, but I love Barbinky in twenty three, and 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 I got to say, uh, unlike um, you know, <laughs> unlike uh, the guy we're talking about, yeah. uh, like that you know, um, uh, David Huggins, uh, I believe that I had some form of union with Barbinky in twenty three. I found myself at one stage. I woke up, and I think we had some sort of marriage ceremony. Uh, and sort of there's a finger buffing and some music after, but if, and if that music was discordant, but nevertheless it was clearly a celebration. And I've never married since, and that's probably because I believe I am married to Barbie Kim Twenty Three. Okay, can I ask? This is very complicated, and this is going down a strange. Up. Melvin, we're going to come to you in a second. Um, how? How what how did you forget about this? You didn't remember any of this until you saw the the the, tr the, the, the movie correct, Love and Sources. That, that, that is correct. Sir. There are certain things that are tr triggered. Quack uh, hole, quack hole. Excuse me. The word quack hole was the third word okay. that I I knew. Quack hole. Yes. And uh, Barbinkin twenty three used to say that. And one day I I thought I heard that word and that triggered something. And it was only when I saw Hoggins' documentary that I remembered that I love Barbie Kim Twenty Three, and uh, as far as I'm concerned, we are uh, you know we're, we're a married uh, couple. And I'm convinced that one day she's going to uh, come back. There, there was a time, yeah. there was a time in 2000 where a lady uh, came to visit me, and I was told by a friend of mine in Leicester when I was living there, when I'm living there now, uh, he lives out near Oldby, and he introduced me to a lady called Candy who had a funny shaped head. But I, and he said that was Barbie and Kim twenty three, but it wasn't. It was a lady called Candy who worked for Leicester City Council. But um, I don't think I've ever met Barbie and Kim twenty three. I don't think she's been back since two thousand five. But I will meet her again. And okay, can we take a pause for a second? I just want to bring in a call. If that's oh okay. three four 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 nine nine one thousand. If you okay. want to. Uh, talk about your own experiences or if you want to question the professor about his or talk about the David Huggins movie. We've got Melvin on the line. Good evening, Melvin. Good evening, Ian. <clears throat> um, I've got a question for the professor, if that's okay. Yep. Hello, Melvin. Hi. Hi. Big fan of your work. Um, on Thank a previous you. show, you mentioned about um, Space AIDS. Space can AIDS. Only, yeah. Can you only catch Space AIDS on the outer rim? Yeah, okay, that's a joke about... Well, hang on, is it, an, is it a joke? What do you mean by that, Melvin? Well, no, I'm just concerned, that's all. Can you catch space aids in the outer rim? You mean oh, the yeah. outer, outer rim of the universe? Yeah. Of Uranus? No, the um, universe. Okay, because, Ian, I, I, seriously, I, I've been invited on here to talk about... I, I think that's a serious... I, I, I don't know... Make I, think that's a serious I think that's a serious question, Professor. I'm not quite sure... Can I catch space aids on the outer rim? No. Melvin, does it answer your question? Yeah, that's great. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Melvin. Thank you very much indeed. I'm not quite sure. It's a serious question, though, isn't there? Yeah, I mean, how yeah. do you know that you are not going to be contaminated with that kind of um, well, Congress? Well, Barbie Kim, 23, uh, was a virgin before she met me. I was not. And um, she was pure. And when she said, Conkeely to me a couple of times, I took that to mean that I'm chaste, I'm pure. Did you use um, contraceptives? No. And well, I was going to ask if you did. Would they? Would they what would you use for re-entry? 
what would I use for reentry? Well, first of all, I yes. think you're, you're making a joke. At it's my a, expense. It's a small, I have it's a small joke. Come on. Alien. Come on. Three I have entries are good. Professor. I done it with an alien. Professor. <laughs> come on. It's a, it's a, it's a, I couldn't let a re entry joke go. Okay. Is there anything? Have you got a serious question? I have got a serious question. Right. Okay. Well, let's hear it. Was it a case of E.T. Bone Home? If you're just going to make a, a smutty jokes about a love affair I had with Bart Bink in 23. Okay. Um, um, uh, you're home. talking about his wife. Um, I'm being mean. Talk about Listen, my wife. Let's take a break, um, if that's okay with you, Professor. We'll take a break. We'll, okay, we'll come. We'll, we'll, uh, my wife, you're talking about Bart Bink in 23. It, it, okay, home. I do apologize. So, so this is nothing to do with the ET2 movement as well. It's nothing to do with anything like that. Okay. The ET2 movement. No, it's not. Okay. Let's it's nothing to do with ET, uh, oh, uh, uh, re-entry. Come on. With a prophylactic. It's nothing to do with bo bo boning home. Okay. Or, okay. Or the outer rim. Okay. Oh, uh, the outer rim. Uh, ET's long finger up my... Okay. Oh, we didn't mention that. Let's just calm down, guys. Let's just calm down. We're having a bit of fun here. And I understand we're getting upset. If you stay there, Professor, 0344 499 1000. Back with the Professor after this. On DAB, digital radio, online and on mobile. This is Talk Radio. We're talking to Professor Joe Lavens about an account, two encounters he had, 2004-2005, um, with uh, a space empress called Barbinkium 69. And I've had... 23. A excuse 23. Me, Barbinkium 23. I apologise. I've had a few people, Matty and a couple of texters and a few others have um, uh, said that I, I'm being disrespectful to your wife. And Catherine has told me off during the break, so I would like to apologise, uh, Professor. That's okay. Can I ask a question? Do you... Do you like cocks? What? You mean uh, the animal, like a chicken? The... No, no. Do you, are you a fan of cocks? Sarah Cox? Brian Cox. Professor Brian Cox. Do you a fan oh, of... Sorry, yeah. Yeah, I, I love Cox. Yeah, yeah, I love Cox. I've got books. I mean, I've got... Could you say that again? You just dropped off for a second. Sorry, I love, I love Cox. I love Cox. There's something wrong with this phone line. Sorry, Professor. Just one more time. I love Cox. I love Cox. I love the work of Cox. Okay. Um, like Chris yeah. says, I've never ever listened to your show before tonight. Uh, this guy is great. Can you ask the Professor how he knows so much detail when he couldn't understand the word that she says? The, the word that Bar Barbinkian 23 said? Yeah, yeah. How do I know so much detail? I, 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 this is what I'm saying to you. I didn't really understand it. There are three words that I understood. Waco, um, Belay, Sunan, and Conkili. Uh, those are the only three words. What they mean, I, I understood more in the intonation, more the, uh, the power of the way they were said. I don't speak that language. I, uh, okay. But I will say that I speak the uh, universal language of love. The eternal language of love and Barbinkian 23 and myself are married. We are in some sort of matrimonial, uh, you know, communion. Did, 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 did she put your ring on her finger or vice versa? Yeah, we, I, well, I didn't have a ring as such. No, I mean, okay. uh, we touched and we held her hand. She has six fingers. We put our hands up together. And I think that was that was the sign of the okay. union. I didn't have a ring. Around. Steve says, uh, "Don't be mean to him, Ian. Just for a laugh. It's cheap and it's beneath you. Cross-examine him. Ask him if he if she has a sister and if she's available. As I'm a little bit lonely tonight." Right. Okay. That's this is what I'm talking okay, about. Okay. I'm just reading I, them I, out as they come. Okay. Well, I've been on your show a number of times now. Can you ask the professor roughly how many people worldwide have claimed to have had these encounters? And I'm going to stop it there okay. because it then goes on to say encounters of the of kind and I actually oh. that's disrespectful. No, it sounds very loving. But I would like to know how many how many encounters like this have Right, you have want been. me to answer a question. That guy's clearly made a joke. He's implying that I'm a pervert. I, an, well, a, a, an intergalactical pervert. Okay. That's what he's implying. Well, no, how I'm, many people worldwide have had a sexual congress with an alien? How, in yes. the thousands. In yes. the thousands. That's the answer. And in they're the all thousands. with they're all with Barbinkium twenty three. No, that's my wife. 
not about being with my wife. God's sake. But you've not seen her for 14 years. No, I haven't. Well, tonight, Professor, she's on. I'm joking. I'm joking. If only. If only. So you've not seen her for 14 years, and you've forgotten no, about her until a couple of weeks ago. That's not. You know what? What happens? You know, there are certain secrets that have to be kept. Yeah. And I don't know the ins and outs precisely, but I had a part of my memory erased. Okay. okay. Deleted temporarily, and I had a trigger. And I, I wonder whether there's a chance she's coming back. I wonder whether that's what the trigger is. Um, uh, we've got an anonymous text here. I listen every night, but it's horrible you guys making fun of a nutcase. <gasps> well, that's not, that's, uh, that's unfair. Excuse me, excuse me. I'm not a nutcase. Okay. I know it's far out what I'm saying, but I, 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 I was on here to talk about Hoggins' documentary. Mm -hmm. There's another guy. You heard he's got a film out. There's me. There's a thousand other people who've uh, d uh, done, uh, you know. Okay, okay. I'm just, I'm just with, uh, reading them as they come. Let's bring uh, Ollie into the conversation. Good evening, Ollie. You're through to Professor Joe Lavens. What would you like to say? Hi, Ian. Hi, Kath. Hi, Professor. Um, Hello, I, was, I was just wondering um, how you know it's a she because they're alien. And I was thinking maybe the tail could be its uh, member. It's it's penis. No, that wasn't a penis. That it didn't have a tail. It had a tentacle. A can I say? Well, I mean, the undercarriage. Can I say undercarriage? You can say undercarriage. Yes, you can, Professor. Yes. She had an undercarriage. Yeah, um, Alien how, undercarriage. How, how sure are you? Because could there be a gestation period as well? Of, ah. Of you having a baby. Have you made? Have you? Um, uh, uh, could there be a baby, Professor? There somewhere. Could well be a baby. Well, I'm in, saying, in you, through its penis. What, a baby in me? What, from yeah. the tentacle? That's a good yeah. question. No, I don't think that's right. I How do you know? Trouble. How do you know? Well, I... It's an alien. It could be a long 10-year gestation period. Well, it's not. Before you okay. How, How, do, you, how well, do you know? Have you always looked in the toilet after you've gone? Cause yes, you I have. Given, you could have given birth already, and you wouldn't know. Okay, some time ago, I went for a health check, all right? I don't know whether you're familiar with this, but the doctor looked up my bum bum and there was nothing up there. At least of all an very alien sensible, baby. Very sensible, very okay. sensible. I've had a prostate check recently. Very yeah, sensible yeah, thing exactly. to do. Okay, Does that answer your question, Ollie? I don't think it does. I think he needs to figure out what gender I put my... And my father. Okay. okay. Uh, Ollie, uh, Ollie's, I think, is being slightly disrespectful. Yeah, okay. Well, yeah, the, uh, that's, you know Paul, what? what no. Paul says, can you ask Professor Lavens? Mm. Mm. <coughs> I've got a frog in my throat today. Paul says, can you ask Professor Lavens if Barbinkium 23 has experience yeah. of movements near the brown star? I've heard there's lots of fun to be had there, but it's not everyone's cup of tea. Now, I don't know, I've not heard of this brown star. Where is it? And um, would she have experienced movements there? You're talking about my wife's mom, aren't you? I don't know, Paul. But Paul, oh, I see. And it's no it could be. It's called Paul as well. He could be. I've seen the film. Okay, he could be, he could be talking about my that. My wife's but, brown star. What's the matter with you? Okay, just ask him. So where does that leave things, like, Professor? Are you are you optimistic? All right. Okay. Are you optimistic that um, Barbinkium twenty seven is going to be coming back? Okay. First of all, it's Barbinkium twenty three. Apologies. She's my wife couldn't read my writing. I'm optimistic she's coming back. Brown star and all. Okay, and. Uh, have you tried to, f to c communicate with her? I don't. I don't really know. You don't I have. I've tried telepathically to communicate with her, and I know that's too much for you people to understand to get your heads around. Yes, I have. I've tried to telepathically tell her to come and get me. And I love her. Okay. You can I ask a question? Her? Yes, you can. Um, obviously, it's been a while, and I understand that there is a huge attachment there. I've, I've seen yes, the diagram. Um, yeah, that was a big attachment. I'm just wondering whether, having experienced what you have with Barbinkium, um, a human woman will ever do. No, that's right. And that, thank you, at last, someone who actually sympathizes. I have had a number of relationships that have crumbled. 
um, tentacle aside, it was not pleasurable having a Congress with a human lady. Uh, and some of them were quite fit and everything, you know, not just uh, ugly ones and that. Mm -hmm. But um, once you've done it with an alien, I'm, I'm telling you there's no going back. You can't manage with the boobs on the right way around. No, I like the boobs on the back. Both the same size, they were in everything. Proper ones, nipples on them and everything. Okay, Professor, thanks very much for coming on. Is there, is there going to be a book, a book about this? I've tweeted the images. Will, will there be a book about this? Well, I think so. I don't want to jump on the Hawkins bandwagon. But um, I'm thinking of releasing a book, and, and when it comes out, I'd very much like to go on a different show and not yours. Okay. Okay. Um, Thank you. May I ask... Well, or perhaps you and I could have a chat. May I yeah, ask okay. May you. I ask why you'd like to go on a different show? Well, there's bit. people coming on and making jokes about my wife's okay. boobs and on the carriage and tend to go with my anus. And all this sort of stuff, and, and, and pure old double entendre is about having sexual congress with an alien. And, and, and that's why I'd, I'd rather just draw a line on okay. it. Okay. Okay. Uh, well, we'll, we'll um, leave it at that. Thank you. How, uh, how is your gear stick in your cockpit? Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Mm hmm. How is my gear stick in the cockpit? <laughs> It doesn't even work that one. So if you're gonna, if you're gonna make a pure I'll double entendre, make sure it works, okay? In space, no one can hear you come. I think he was really upset there. I think he was very upset there. Thank I think I can smooth that. things over. Please do. Thanks very much indeed. Um, Nick says I had the same experience with Bob Binkham, twenty-three, and believe I'm also married to her. I am devastated to hear this call. Um, okay, well, okay. I, I'm getting a lot of flat. Twitter's being a very, very angry place at the moment. I don't think that was necessarily offensive. Listen, my job is to is to ask the questions, and I've got to have a little bit of fun every now and then. But I don't think that was too disrespectful. Kath's going to go and speak to him. And uh, hopefully, hopefully smooth things out. Because I would, I would love to uh, to get the professor back on at some point. Is he all right, Kath? No. Okay. Well, we'll do, okay. We'll, 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 okay. Oh God! Another another message to the boss. Wow. Okay. Um, listen, if you've ever uh, done it with an alien, oh three four 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 nine nine one thousand. It does seem to be that there aren't that many people, Catherine, in this country. It's a big thing in America. Um, people talking about um, doing it with aliens and stuff. It's a really big thing. You don't hear too many uh, uh, um, stories about it in the UK. And I wonder why that, I wonder if it doesn't happen here as much or if people are more embarrassed to share it over here. I wonder what the problem I've is. I've got a theory it's about the accent. Because obviously the Americans have been blasting their voices into space for quite a long time, and I yeah. think maybe they're attracted by the accent. Right, okay. I'm going to take that call straight to. Let's go to line one. Hello, line one. You're on the wireless. Hey, how you doing? Very, very well. Who is this, and how can I help you, please? Oh, um, I'm James. Um, I just started uh, listening to you about um, about three nights ago, and uh, I'm just laughing so so hard. Well, don't tell the professor because apparently I've, I've really offended him, and and I was just trying to. That's his wife you're talking about. This <laughs> his wife, I'll be him <laughs> twenty three. Do you believe any of that, Boy Lee? I believe he believes it. Well, go on, James. I'm not sure. Opinion? You see, I the problem is is that you see, I would have got it wrong as well because it, it was my bitch from twenty three, and then I kept saying twenty four, twenty five. Oh, we're losing you. I mean, I suspect there are Why several. The, we're losing you. Why the 23? Well, I don't know. Maybe that's just part of the, the name. What, did you say She's an empress. She might be the 23rd. Yeah, she could be. I mean, why is there an A in your name? It's just, who knows how the naming system works in other parts of the galaxy? But he, he started to get cross, so didn't he? He, he? he got he got he got cross. He didn't really have a sense of humour. I didn't feel. He's been on a few times, and here's the thing: the professor will be all right, but he does get very dry. Do you believe in aliens? Have you have you ever had have you ever seen anything? No, 
Absolutely, completely and utterly not. Oh. No, not at all. Wow, you've gone all scientific on this. I've seen, I've seen a UFO one. I have seen an unidentified flying object. My, my ex-wife and I saw it. We saw something in the sky mm. and we could not explain what it was. Well, I, I thought I saw one, but then it was a drone, so it wasn't. Okay, okay, all right. Yeah. But it'd be ni it would be nice. It would be nice if there were, weren't there? Wouldn't it? It would. It, it would. But it you're would not be, buying it. It would be exciting. No, yeah, I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it. Which, <laughs> I love it's it. Terrible. Nah, it's not terrible. Nah, no, 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 no. James, listen, I have to go. But it's keep, keep listening. We've got a dominatrix coming up. You might have some questions about that afterwards as well. well that sounds very, very exciting, and thank you so much. And um, it's been great just hearing you. You've made me laugh because it's a bit of a tough time at the moment. And oh. um, yeah, so thank you. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, mate. And I, I hope things, um, I hope things go on the upswing very, very soon. Oh, I'm sure they will. Absolutely. Cheers, James. Thanks. Thank you. What a nice guy. I've been listening for a few days. Boom, he's calling in, and I like that guy. Oh, three four 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 nine nine one thousand is the phone number. Busy, busy show tonight. Mistress Sophia is coming up next. Um, I'll retweet the diagrams that the professor sent me if you want to have a look at those. They are NSFW, I'm afraid. This is the Late Night Alternative, weeknights from 10 with Catherine Boyle and Ian Lee on Talk Radio. Talk Radio. Contact Talk Radio. Call 0344 499 1000. Text Talk and your message to 8722. Texts cost 25 pence plus your standard network rate. Or you can tweet us at Talk Radio. This is Talk Radio. Talk Radio. The Late Night Alternative with Ian Lee on Talk Radio. We have ways of making you talk across the UK, online and on DAB. Talk Radio. 